Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your stand store and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a lead magnet with your stand store? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to create a lead magnet with your stand store anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're monetizing your audience with your stand store, you know that having a lead magnet is a great way to build your audience, email lists, and also sell your products. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process is handled here in your stand store. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my stand store. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to make a lead magnet in your stand store, what you're going to need to do is go here to my store. Once you click there, you're going to see your stand store. So you can see I just have these few products right here. But today we're going to go ahead and create a lead magnet. And how you do that is you click on add product. Okay, so once you click there, you're going to see this drop down menu. And in order to create a lead magnet with your stand store, you want to go to to this section here called collect emails forward slash applications. It looks kind of like a little magnet. Okay, guys, so here is where you can go ahead and create a lead magnet with your stand store. So if you're not too familiar with what a lead magnet is, it's basically an exchange. You're going to be giving something away of value in exchange for your viewers email. So depending on that lead magnet, that's going to depend on what your audience likes. So for example, if you're in the fitness niche, maybe you can give out 25 free tips on how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. If you're in the finance niche or niche, maybe you're going to give away some sort of check list for trading. So you're going to need to know who your audience is and what they like. Now, if you're having trouble coming up with that, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can go on Upwork and have somebody create a lead magnet or sort of a info chart or a checklist for you. Also on Fiverr, that's a good resource. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a link to a couple of different sources. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up this lead magnet in Stand Store. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and create an image. So same thing, you can go on Fiverr or Upwork and have somebody create an image for you. You can also go into Canva and then create an image. So so make sure that you make it 400 by 400 pixels. It should be related to whatever it is you're going to be giving away as your lead magnet. And then if you scroll down here, you can change the title. Let me move me out of the way. Okay, so here on the right, this is going to be the image and web page that your users see. So here it says, get my free book. Click right here. Okay, so lose 10 pounds with these 12 tips. And then next right here, I don't really recommend this, just joining an email list. While you will be able to gather emails from your viewers, if you have something in exchange, you're just going to get a better success rate. So here, we'll, okay, so download my 12 best to melt fat away today. Again, I'm just making this up. You need to come up with something that's going to be related to your niche. If, if you need help coming up with something, you can actually just go to ChatGPT and ask for a couple of different prompts and then personalize it depending on whatever your niche is. Okay, so here is the button, download my list now. Okay, so I changed the wording on the button. You can see it right here. So here you can go ahead and add fields. So you can ask for their name, their email, the phone number. Just note that if you are going to be asking for a lot of different information, your success rate is going to go down. For me personally, I like to have just the email at most name and email. So we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. Okay, you can see that it brings me back here to my stand store. So we want to go ahead and edit this. So I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to unpublish it while we work on it. Okay, so I'm going to click into the product. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click right here towards the top on product. Okay, so this is pretty important. So they've already given you your email. So where are they going to go next? So one, they can receive an email from you, including the product. So you can go ahead and upload the PDF right here. Or if you're doing affiliate marketing, you can go ahead and have them redirect to that email by clicking on here. So if you created some sort of a checklist, you want to go ahead and upload that. And then you can see right here that Stand Store is automatically going to send your lead magnet to that customer after they've submitted their information. If you don't want them to receive a PDF or some sort of a document, you can go ahead and click right here, redirect to URL. Okay, so here you can go ahead and put in the URL and then also the name of the product right here. So essentially this is a two-step lead magnet funnel. So we have the thumbnail screen. So this is the form they're going to fill out. And then the step two is going to be the product. So either that's going to be a file that you're going to email to them or you're going to redirect them to an email, I'm sorry, a URL where they can go ahead and download that or continue on with their purchase. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and upload a document by clicking here. Okay, I'm uploading a document right here. And then you can see the percentage right here. Okay, it's at 82%. Okay, now it's done. So what we're going to do is click on publish. All right, so here is my lead magnet right here in my stand store once it refresh. And then I'm going to go ahead and click right here. Okay, so here is all the information that we put in. Now, if you want to go ahead and scroll to the top, you click on options. You can check the confirmation email that they're going to receive. So here's the confirmation email. So it's going to say your product download from me. That's the subject. And if we scroll down, it says hi, and then it's going to show their name. Here's your download. And then they're going to be able to have a link where they can go ahead and download that product. You can go ahead and add in more information like thanks for the purchase or be sure to check in for a webinar or whatever it is that is in your niche. And then you want to click on publish. Okay, now it is published to my stand store with my lead magnet. Let me click on my stand store here. Okay, so check this out. This is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and just enter our name right here into our lead magnets. And then next I'm going to enter my 
email. Okay, I entered my email and I'm going to click on download my list now. Okay, great. You're in. I'll be in touch with you soon. Okay, now I just received an email. Let me go ahead and jump over to my email and show you what that looks like. Okay, I just opened up my email and this is what it looks like right here. It has the button where I can go ahead and click to download that and it went through basically immediately. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to set up a lead magnet inside of your stand store, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.